guys. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on space science investigations. This game was published by NASA and it was developed by Eagle. This game is absolutely free, and on top of that, it only takes about 25 to 30 minutes to get the full 1000G. So, I'm sure a lot of you viewers are going to be super excited to complete this one as it's completely free and it's fairly quick. If you guys are interested in downloading it, I'll have a link down in the description below. Now, when you first start off the game, you're going to start off in the tutorial. We can actually just skip through the tutorial by mashing the Y button. So just keep pressing Y to skip all the steps in the tutorial until we complete it and unlock our first achievement for completing the tutorial. This is the Welcome Aboard Achievement worth 50 gamer score. Now, we also have an achievement for playing the game two times, so let's go ahead and knock this one out. What we're going to go ahead and do is force close the game, restart the game, and once you get back into the space station, you should end up triggering your next achievement called Frequent Flyer worth 25 gamer score. Again, this achievement is for playing the game a second time. After that, you want to press start to open up your tablet, then you want to go to more info. This is going to pop up a list of links, and when you press one of these links, it's actually going to open up Microsoft Edge, the internet browser on your Xbox. And for the most part, these are little PDFs that explain different categories, and the reason that we're doing this is because we do have an achievement for pressing 10 different links. So from this More Info tab, you just want to continue to press all of these different links. Ultimately, we need to press 10 different links. After you press 10 different links, you should end up unlocking the next achievement. This is the Principal Investigator achievement worth 25 gamer score for visiting 10 different web links. All right, so before we start exploring the space station, you want to go to the settings and change the control presets to slow. Otherwise, the controls are super sensitive and you're just going to end up going in circles. So just trust me, take my advice and change it to slow. After that, go ahead and exit your tablet and simply hold up. This is going to send you straight forward. You want to go through the hallway. Make sure not to move around the right thumbstick quite yet as we want to go completely straight without touching anything. We have an achievement for going through this area without touching the walls. This is the straight shooter achievement worth 25 gamer score. After that, you want to take a right. Go ahead and move forward until you pass the yellow indicator. After that, look to the right and you're going to find a bathroom. First thing we want to do is interact with this book in the bathroom. That's one of the six books that we need to interact with specifically blue books. After that, make sure to interact with the toilet as we do have an achievement related to finding the toilet in the space station. This is the pit stop achievement worth 100 gamer score. After that, go ahead and keep advancing through this room. We need to make sure to explore every single area of the space station to unlock an achievement. So just continue forward. You're gonna take a right into this room. And once you get to this room, you can actually look in one of the cabinets right here. And what you want to do is grab a sickness bag because eventually you're going to get motion sickness and you're going to end up getting sick and we'll need to use this sickness bag. It's going to be one of our next objectives. So might as well get it now. After that, go ahead and exit this area, basically back to where we came from. And this time we're going to go straight ahead to the opposite side. Again, following the yellow indicator. Once you get into this little room right here, that should be far enough. So we're going to go ahead and turn around. Once you turn around, go ahead and take a right. Your character should start to get sick by now. Once you get sick, we're going to need to use that sickness bag. So go ahead and pull up your tablet by pressing start. Go to your inventory. Press A on the sickness bag to use the sickness bag. After a little barf sesh, you'll feel all better. And then you want to make sure to grab this book on the upper left-hand corner. Again, interact with the blue book. Once you interact with the blue book, we can go ahead and continue through this area right here. And there's going to be a book on the other side, on the upper right-hand corner. Make sure to interact with the blue book. After that, we're going to go through here. This is basically where we started off the game. And there's going to be another blue book over here on the upper right-hand corner. Make sure to interact with that. After that, we can go into the room on the right. Just follow the yellow indicator. Once you get into this room right here, if you look back at the doorway, on the upper right hand corner we're going to find some more books. Make sure to interact with the blue one. Alright, after you interact with that book, we're going to head straight out of this room and go across the hallway into this other room. Again, following the yellow indicator, 
Once you get into this room right here, you should trigger an achievement called Home Sweet Home with 25 gamer score for getting oriented with the ISS. Next, what we wanna do is look into this cabinet over here to the right. We're going to find a few things. First and foremost, you wanna pick up the teddy bear, the dinosaur, the soccer, and the yo-yo. Once you collect those four items, we'll end up unlocking our next achievement called Playtime. Again, you need the dinosaur, the soccer ball, the teddy bear, and the yo-yo. Once you collect all four, you unlock that achievement. After that, we're going to go for an achievement for collecting another few items, but they're all tool related. So go ahead and look inside of this package right here. You're going to find the wrench and the duct tape. And then if you look in the package above that one, we're going to take the drill. At this point, the only item that we need for the next achievement is going to be the screwdriver. Now after that, we're going to go ahead and look up. We're going to find another secret room up here. Make sure that you flow up into this room. After you enter this room, we can go ahead and exit it. We do have an achievement related to visiting every single area in this spaceship, or as the achievement refers to it, every single module in the spaceship. Once you get back down here, you might have to spend a moment getting yourself balanced. At least I did. But ultimately, we're just returning where we came from. We're actually going to go back in the room across the hallway where we found that last book. So once you get yourself all balanced, go ahead and go back into this room. And the screwdriver is actually going to be located in one of the packages on the lower left-hand corner. This one right here, grab the screwdriver and you'll end up triggering your next achievement called Handyman. This one's worth 50 gamer score and it's for collecting the wrench, drill, screwdriver, and duct tape. All right, now as you progress through this story, you'll end up unlocking videos and basically you won't be able to move forward until you play these videos. So the first video has been unlocked. So what you wanna do is pull up your tablet, go to videos and play the first video. Every time you play a video, it will end up unlocking an achievement afterwards. I also wanna point out that you cannot skip these videos. In joints and in the inner ear, help astronauts know how they are oriented and moving. But these senses need gravity so they don't work well in space. Fortunately, astronauts' brains adapt quickly and learn to trust their eyes over the other senses. All right, so that's going to be our first educational video, and that's going to unlock our next achievement called Vomit Comet worth 25 gamer score for watching the vestibular video. After that, we're going to go ahead and exit this room, go ahead and take a left, and we're going to go down this hallway. This was the hallway that we had to go straight across without touching any walls. So maybe if you haven't unlocked your achievement yet, you can try to unlock it now. Now, once you get into this next section, we want to go ahead and go straight ahead. It should be a small hole. We'll be able to go ahead and squeeze through there. I just had to edit through my footage a bit. Once you get right here, go ahead and look down. We need to go down here because again, we need to visit every single module in the spaceship. So go ahead and float your way all the way down here. There's actually a few modules that we need to go through. And when you think you're at the bottom, you're really not. Go ahead and go through this hatch right here. And this is going to be the very bottom of this module. Once you get to the very bottom that has the control panel, we can go ahead and make our way back up. So just continue upward. All the indicators should be blue now. And once we get to the top, we're going to continue forward through this area right here. Once you get into this little hallway area, we're going to continue forward all the way to the end of this hallway. Once you get into this area, we're going to look down once again, and we can go ahead and float down into this module. It's just one room or module, so after you get in here, we can go ahead and exit right away and there's actually a module on top as well. Now, if you did everything correctly, once you get into this top module, we should end up unlocking our achievement for exploring every single module in the space station. At this point, the game is going to be fairly linear. We do have one more blue book that we need to pick up. That's gonna be the last thing that we do, and that's gonna be the last achievement we unlock. For now, what I want you guys to do is go to your tablet and then click map. When you go to the map of the space station, it will actually have a yellow indicator on the next area that you need to travel to. You can actually just click this area and it's going to fast travel to that area. So basically we're just going to fast travel to each area that has our next objective and we're going to tackle these side objectives one at a time until we complete the game. So fast travel to the Zvezda. Inside of this module we'll have two cameras. Go ahead and pick both of them up. After that go to the map. 
The yellow indicator is now going to be on the US lab, AKA Destiny. Go ahead and fast travel here. We're gonna look down and interact with this wharf. After this, it's gonna pop up your inventory. You wanna to go to the very bottom of your inventory and select the camera. After you apply the camera, it will trigger some dialogue and I'll touch base with you guys once we have control of our character again. Around this point in their flights, another symptom of fluid shift is a puffy face. Check out the before. All right, so now that that's finished, what we need to do is our next task. It's actually located in this same module or the module next to us. So just go through this next room right here and we're gonna look inside of this room and you wanna interact with the pictures on the wall. This is going to trigger our next task, which is actually to watch our next video, which is on our cardiovascular system in space. So go to your tablet, go to videos and watch the next video. On Earth, our bodies have quite a few ways to keep fluid circulating in spite of the forces of gravity. In space, the absence of gravity causes the fluids to shift upwards, leading to a puffy face, stuffy nose, and headaches. The fluid shift makes the body think that it has too much water and triggers systems to purge fluids, resulting in a significant loss of water and a 10 to 20% loss of blood plasma volume. Because the heart has to do less work, it may become smaller. The consequences of these changes in the cardiovascular system can be combated by exercise and an increase in electrolyte fluid intake before returning to Earth. All right, guys, after the video, it should trigger your next achievement called Space Face Worth 25 Gamer Score for watching the cardiovascular video. After that, go to your map, look for the yellow indicator. It's going to be on the US Destiny module. Once you get here, look down, and now we'll be able to interact with the wharf. What we have to do is we have to wait for this object to go within range. Once it's within our range, we can take three pictures of it and that will complete our next task. This will also trigger our next achievement called Shutterbug. So just patiently wait for it to go within range. Go ahead and press A three times to take three pictures. After that, we can go ahead and exit the wharf and we'll end up unlocking the Shutterbug achievement. This one is worth 25 gamer score. After you unlock that one, go ahead and interact with the wharf once again. And this time we're actually gonna wait patiently until a UFO appears. Once this UFO appears, we'll take a picture of it, unlocking our next achievement. Once it's within your range, go ahead and snap a picture of it by pressing A. That's going to unlock the Cut the Feet achievement worth 200 gamer score. And on to the next task. Go ahead and pop up your tablet, go to your map, and the yellow indicator is going to be on the Tranquility module, which is node 3. Once you get in here, go ahead and look down here, and we need to interact with each of these yellow indicators. They're basically windows. We need to open up all of the windows right here. Once we open up all the windows, we'll end up unlocking our next achievement. Is everything all right? If you're having trouble seeing, it could be another symptom of living in life. And there we go, that's gonna unlock the Earth Gazer achievement worth 25 gamer score. At this point, we can go ahead and exit the cupola, and we wanna pull up the tablet, go to the map, and we should have a yellow indicator on the Harmony module. Go ahead and fast travel here. Your vision's going to be all messed up. What you wanna do is interact with this cabinet on the floor, Grab the glasses. Once you have the glasses, go to your inventory on your tablet and select the glasses. Your vision will get much better. And at this point, we can go ahead and float forward. This is also going to unlock our next video on vision. So go ahead and pull up your tablet, go to videos and select the vision video. In microgravity, fluid buildup may cause increased pressure in the skull and brain. This can affect the eye in several ways. 
choroidal folds, swelling of the choroid, which is a tissue with a lot of blood vessels. Optic disc edema, swelling of the optic nerve where it meets the globe of the eye. Optic nerve sheath distension. Some astronauts experience changes in their vision, such as farsightedness and scotoma. These may remain when the astronaut returns to Earth. Research is continuing in order to find a solution to these problems. Alright, after the video, you should be unlocking your next achievement for watching the vision video called To See or Not To See, worth 25 gamer score. Next, go to your map and the yellow indicator will be on node 3. Go ahead and fast travel to node 3 and what you want to do is interact with the exercise machine. This is going to pop up a little mini game. Doesn't really matter how good or bad you do. But yeah, once the 30 seconds is over, I'll jump back in with some commentary. Alright guys, after the exercise minigame, that's going to unlock our next video, so pull up your tablet, go to videos, and we're going to watch the video on muscles. In microgravity, some muscles shrink because they do less work and your body doesn't need to maintain them. Muscles that are typically used to fight gravity and keep us standing, such as those around the spine and calves, are affected the most. These muscles can lose up to 20% of their mass over the course of a mission. Exercise is used to help maintain muscle strength and mass. Alright, so that's going to unlock our next achievement called No Pain No Gain for watching the muscle video. This one's worth 25 gamer score. After that, go to your map and the yellow indicator is going to be on Destiny, aka the US Lab. Go ahead and fast travel here. Go ahead and look up. You're going to see the yellow indicator. You want to interact with this rack, and what you want to do is take the medicine out. After you take the medicine out, you want to go to your inventory and use the medicine. After you do that, go ahead and flow up to the yellow indicator to trigger the next dialogue. After the dialogue, we're actually going to unlock our next video on the immune system. So once you unlock it, go ahead and pull up your tablet, go to videos, and watch the new video on immune system. Affected by microgravity. The body's immune system is altered during spaceflight. This is due to many factors. Various immune cells travel through the bloodstream searching for invaders. In space, aspects of the immune system appear weakened, which could lead to infections. Other aspects appear overactive, which could cause allergy or hypersensitivity. Certain viruses, such as the virus that causes chickenpox, have been shown to reactivate in microgravity. This doesn't mean the astronauts are sick, but is evidence of immune changes in astronauts that may precede disease. Research on ISS is continuing to characterize exactly which parts of the immune system are altered during spaceflight. Alright guys, we should be unlocking our next achievement for watching the immune system video. This is worth another 25 gamer score. After that, go to your map. The yellow indicator is going to be on node 3, so fast travel there. Once you get to node 3, go ahead and follow the yellow indicator and go down into the cupola. What you want to do is interact with this device right here. And it's going to end up starting a really confusing mini game. I couldn't figure out how to do this mini game. Just know that after you fail three times, it will end up doing it for you. Or I believe after you run out of time, it will end up doing it for you as well. I would think the quickest way to get through this is probably just to drive the arm into the device. Once you ram the arm into the device, it's going to have you start the mini game over again. So just do that three times and it will end up automatically completing the mini game for you.
Great job! We're tightening the snares now. We'll move the HTV into position so that you can berth it. Right, you did it. Give us a few seconds. All right, after you complete this little mini game, more than likely using that auto sequence, you should end up triggering your next achievement called Cargo Catcher, worth 25 gamer score for birthing the HTV. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up our map. The yellow indicator is going to be on node two, so go ahead and fast travel over here. After that, we're going to look downward. We're going to see a yellow indicator, and you want to go ahead and float into this room. We need to find a milk pouch as well as an apple. So look in these little containers, grab a milk pouch, and then grab an apple from one of the other ones. After that, go to your inventory, eat the apple, and drink the milk. After that, it will trigger our next dialogue, completing our next task. I believe the next thing that will happen is we'll unlock our next video. So what you want to do is go over to videos and watch the video on bones. On Earth. Our bones are constantly being regenerated by cells called osteoblasts and osteoclasts. In microgravity, less bone is rebuilt since there is less need for our skeleton to support our bodies. This results in bone loss similar to that in people with osteoporosis. Astronauts are attempting to combat this loss of bone through a combination of nutrition and exercise. All right, now we should be unlocking another achievement, this time for watching the Bones video called An Apple a Day, worth 50 gamer score. At this point, we're going to end up back in node two, and we can just go ahead and continue forward. We're going to end up unlocking a few achievements, one called Mission Complete, worth 100 gamer score for completing all the tasks. We basically completed all of the objectives in this game. What you want to do is go all the way to the end of this hallway, and our last book is going to be located right here on the lower right-hand corner. This is going to unlock our final achievement called Bookworm, worth 50 gamer score. At this point, you guys should have the full 1000G out of 1000G for absolutely free. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 12 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, Kegger101, Kana25, GamertagNation.com, Rockmono44, and Fabio Novato. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe.